and they'd like to show you another module this is called feature machining what this allows you to do is to project a toolpath onto a 3D relief so for this particular example I have an American football that I have imported from the relief clip art library and I've also created just a little bit of artwork on the top of it so I've wrote Bobby's ball and then I have a shooting star with two other vectors inside that star and the trail I also have the outside vector for the football I've created two toolpaths one is a machine relief then you can see it's using the boundary of the football and I've also created a profile just to cut the part out now I'm ready to do some feature machining on this part so I'm going to click on toolpaths and then select here for feature machining here we have quite a large dialog box you can create a raise feature a recessed feature Here you can see that the icon changes to show you what you will actually get for this particular example I'm going to create a recessed feature and I'm going to create it at 1 mil deep I can select the vector at the top edge or I can select the vector at the bottom edge so this will make it smaller I'm going to use the top edge at the moment and I'm going to use an area clearance just so it clears all of the part out when I create the toolpath and I'm going to project my tool onto the relief so I'm going to select my tool now which is going to be a one and a half mil ball nose and I'm going to select the text for Bobby's ball and then click calculate now now you can see it's created a toolpath there and I'll just close this dialog box here I'm now going to create some raised feature machining so if I click on feature machining again and this time use the raised feature the feature height is going to be 1 mil and this time I'm going to use profile only because the machine relief is going to rough all of this out for me anyway so I'll select my tool which is going to be a one and a half mil ball nose again and select the vectors which is going to be this shooting star and then click calculate now so there you can see if I just zoom in here it's created a toolpath along the outside of this shooting star so I'll close that now and I'm going to create another feature toolpath this time select the inside of the star and I'm going to create a center line feature the depth of this I'm going to set this at 0 0.1 and I'm going to project the tool the tool that I'm going to use is again a one and a half mil ball nose and I'm going to calculate now I'll close this dialog box and I need to move these two toolpaths to the top so the machine relief sees that there is a toolpath before it and it does not machine the feature so if I move this up just keep on moving that up and I'll move this one up so they are both at the top and this feature machine I'm just going to have that before the profile because I don't want the part cut out before it's created the feature machining so there we have our feature machining you start to get a good idea of what this looks like now when I simulate it so I'm just going to simulate this and here you can see it's creating the roughing out it's created all of the star when it creates the machine relief you will see that it will not machine this part of the feature you can see it's leaving the feature 1 mil standing proud so this allows you to machine onto a 3D relief
So if I just zoom in here, here you can see it's standing above the football. So this is just going to finish the machine relief and then it's going to do Bobby's ball which is recessed this time. So there you can see that's actually recessed into the ball. So I'll just zoom back out and there we have some 3D machining using 2D geometry. This is all achieved by using the feature machining module.